Good morning guys and welcome to another video. It's Karima and I got a good one for you. We got a lot to do today. It's a wreck in here so I'm starting out in my bedroom. In my defense a lot of this happened today. Um, I was just pulling things from other areas of the house that they didn't need to be and bringing it back to my room. I called myself sorting a little laundry over here. But you know, the, the mess always gets worse before it gets better. But we are going to take care of it. So if you feel like you've been falling short this week, don't worry. You are not alone. I'm always here to back you up in that category. And if you are a perfect patty here to judge, that is okay too. You're in the right place because I'm a guilt-free mama. So... I can really care less about the opinions of people who don't have to live in this house anyway. But hopefully everyone will be nice. It is really bad, but you know, the worse it is, the more motivating it is, right? Right. So I'm not gonna do too much talking. Let's jump right in because the bedroom is not the only area we have to hit, but this is where we're gonna start. So I wanted to show you guys a close up of my headboard because I had so much of that flock left over from the garland I had up there for Christmas. I haven't dusted off my headboard since taking it down and you can see in the corners how much dust it created. So I'm gonna take care of that right now. This is something I usually forget, but I finally remembered this time. So here's a reminder for you. Remember to dust your headboard before you take off your mattress protector. That way you don't get dust all over your mattress. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could really clean this fast in real life? Watching it back while I do the voiceover is so satisfying for me. But I wanted to address the question that I get a lot. How do I stay so motivated to do all the things I do? And I think the real answer to that question is it's more of a drive than motivation. Motivation to me is so fleeting. Like I get the thought I'm motivated and as soon as I stand up I'm like oh gosh when I'm faced with a large task ahead of me but it's the drive that kind of pushes me through so I like to focus more on drive than motivation because as I'm going through every step of my cleaning process or whatever I'm doing I promise you I'm not motivated all the way through but thinking about the end goal is what drives me to complete the task <music> So before I started filming, I had threw my quilt in the washing machine. So now it's time to switch that over and put it in the dryer. And now I'm going to wash my sheets. So I'm not going to have a decorate with me for Valentine's Day video because it's not typically something I do, but I did want to show you this clip of the bathroom. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know 
how my husband surprised me with a really nice bath and just some me time and he decorated the bathroom with candles and petals and just nice signs all over I left it up for a week because it was just really nice to see everything in there but now it's time to clean up this mess even though I'm not doing a decorate with me video I am going to do like something fun for my kids and I'll probably record that So I decided to cave in and buy myself one of those Clorox tub and tile scrubbers. I really have no problems getting down on my hands and knees and scrubbing out the tub. But when it's a garden size tub, I really can't stand doing it because I can't reach the other side without getting in. So this was a great investment and it works really well. The scrubber also worked really well on the tile, so I would definitely recommend it. I couldn't find the exact one on Amazon, but EXO makes something very similar to it, and it's only $13 on Amazon. I did pay $10 for mine at Target, though. So you may have noticed that I had to put a mask on. I am using that microban bathroom disinfectant and I really like it because it cleans really well. I can tell the difference when I use it to clean out my sink. I usually get a little moldy ring where the water settles around the drain and it, it doesn't happen when I use this or it takes a lot longer for that to happen when I use this. But this stuff is strong. You already know I don't like the way Sprayway smells. But I like to use this because I am a first responder worker. I'm a nurse. I'm taking care of COVID patients. And then I come home to clean myself in this bathroom. But my family also has to use this bathroom. So I want to make sure my bathroom is really disinfected. And to mop the floor, I am using bleach and hot water. But I like a splash of Fabuloso for the fresh scent. Oh, I'm real life sweating. I'm out of breath. That bathroom wore me out. I did stop to order some groceries. What I've been doing lately, you guys, I, I was about to lie and say I can't remember the last time I've been inside a grocery store, but I was in Walmart the other day. But I've been doing a lot of grocery pickups and um, Instacart because it's just been convenient. And because I do it so often, I, um, I'm usually just picking up like odds and ends. So snacks and things. So it's never a complete grocery haul. I haven't done a real complete grocery haul in a while. But that's because of um, Instacart. It's very convenient. And the reason why I'm doing it so often is because Instacart was offering a free three-month trial of their... I don't know membership or whatever it is and you get delivery free deliveries it was free deliveries for three months so that's about to end soon so i'm trying to take advantage of all of that i'm getting my motivation from mom likely she's one of my faves but the groceries have just been delivered you know instacart can y'all see that they leave a picture it's at my door so i'm gonna go put the groceries up and I'll show you guys a little grocery haul. I did Instacart and a Walmart pickup. So my husband picked up the Walmart pickup. So let's see what we got. Okay guys, so this is my grocery pickup. I actually just did an order yesterday and I forgot some stuff. So I did another order today because 
like I said, it's free delivery. But I did an order yesterday and that's when I got kind of like my veggies. So I got some peppers. <sighs> y'all can't even, can y'all even see that? Hold on. Can you see? I got peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, romaine lettuce to make a salad. I got spinach, Caesar salad, another of the kale, you know, we like that. I got some kielbasa. That was from yesterday. We got some ice cream, but they gave me the wrong flavor. I didn't want chocolate, I wanted vanilla, so I ended up getting some today. I got mixed vegetables, tater tots. These kids can't live without tater tots. Oh, that was the stuff I got yesterday. And I just needed a few snacks. I don't know how I didn't get any snacks for the kids. So today we got, um, oh yeah, yesterday also. Yesterday I got the apples, bananas. Today we got the cuties from Walmart. And I just replenished the snacks because I hadn't bought snacks in so long. I don't know if it was a video ago or two videos ago. That was the first time we had snacks in a while. They ate them in like a day. Like 15 bags of chips they ate in a day. I'm exaggerating, but it was a lot that they ate very quickly. So I realized I've been depriving my kids a little bit. But, you know, ever so often I like to let them have snacks. But for the most part, I want them to eat good food. So we did get chips. We've all been kind of feeling for chips lately. Well, let me start from the beginning. So I got Kingston, another toothpaste. I got some Baby Bella mushrooms. This is Aldi and Walmart. Um mixed together because I did a, a small order from both places. So this is from Walmart. My baby Bella mushrooms is from Aldi. I just love mushrooms and everything. Corn dogs. We haven't had that for a while. It's just a fun snack for everybody. Yo, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Brain. Goodness gracious. Like a old lady. So I got two boxes of these. This is from Walmart. For some reason, I just don't like Aldi brand chips. It's just the crunch is not right. I don't really know how to explain it. The best way I can explain it is that the crunch is in between stale and kettle chips. And that's not right. So I had to get, and I don't like, it's not particularly Aldi. I don't like any store brand chip. For some reason, the store brand chips crunch is not right. So I got Ruffles and Lay's. We got the sour cream and onion, that's for me. Original, it's for everybody. Some classic Lay's. Kingston loves popcorn, so I got him the um, Smart Foods white cheddar. That's one of his favorites. I got some lime. This is from Walmart. I got some um, pepperoni from Walmart. These kids have really been into pepperoni lately on pizzas and sandwiches and all types of things. They're making with pepperoni, so I got the big bag. I just got another bag of Hawaiian rolls because the kids love that. From Aldi, I got two uh, cartons of eggs, the free range organic eggs. I got two more loaves of bread. I try to keep these stock in the deep freezer because the kids eat bread like water. I got me some blueberries. I really have been feeling for some oatmeal with blueberries in it but I didn't have any blueberries, so. Got some blueberries, got some strawberries for the kids, grapes for the kids. Blueberries were from Aldi, strawberries are from Walmart, grapes are from Walmart. I got some Bluebell ice cream cups, because I really wanted vanilla. They didn't have the big one, so I just got the little individual cups, which is perfect, so the kids can have perfect portion sizes. That is from Aldi. This was from Walmart, some chocolate chip. We have been loving chocolate chip cookies, which is why I really wanted some vanilla ice cream. So I'm keeping that on hand for snacks. We got some corned beef hash for breakfast. I got three cans of those, that's from Aldi. Diced tomatoes um, from Walmart. I don't remember getting two cans, but okay. Yeah. Can't go wrong with diced tomatoes. I got another thing of vegetable broth from Walmart. And then I had to replenish my coffee. These are so good. It is so much easier than me buying iced coffee out at the store because it is way too expensive. What I pay for this 
Actually, this is cheaper than a small cup of, of iced coffee or a Frappuccino or anything like that. Way cheaper. This is like $3 and change. So I got the caramel macchiato, uh, macchiato again and the mocha. Then, uh, what the heck is wrong with these people? Why do they keep giving me unsweetened vanilla? Like I made sure I didn't choose vanilla. I made sure that I was, okay. I got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. They keep getting this wrong. And I don't like to report, but I don't want vanilla. I just want original unsweetened almond milk. I don't know what's so hard about that. This is the second time they did that. And because it happened to me already, I made sure that I chose original. Like I made sure, but okay. And I got some Kids Crunch from Aldi for the kids. So that is the grocery haul. That's what we got, so I'm gonna put that away. I'm feeling some kind of way. I can't believe they messed up my milk because I like, you know, I like it for my cereal, my tea, and even with the iced coffee, it's a little bit sweet, so I like to put the almond milk in it to kind of water it down a little bit, but I want unsweetened, regular almond milk. I'm not a big fan of vanilla. I mean, I can drink it because I have it, but this is really stressing me out. Like, I don't know how hard this is. I'm gonna have to check my order because I feel some type of way right now. This is ridiculous. They messed up my ice cream yesterday and now my almond milk. I really don't want vanilla. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna prep this stuff. So I'm done with, let's a recap. I'm done with my room. I just, I'm waiting for the sheets to wash so I can make my bed in my master bathroom. And I'm worn out, but I need to do the kids' bathroom. I'm going to prep this fruit and put it in the fridge so that the kids can actually eat it because we don't need, because they need to eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna prep the fruits because it just makes it easier for them to eat. If they have to wash it, they won't eat it. That's just how it goes here. And then I want to finish the kids' laundry they have one more load that I wanna wash and then I'm gonna fold up their laundry and I want to clean their bathroom. I don't know if I said that already, I felt like I did, but I wanna clean their bathroom. If I can get that done in this video, I'll be happy. So let's do it before we run out of time. A million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I dumped it in here, but they are so dirty. You know, mushrooms come with the dirt on it, so this is why I like to prep my veggies. So when I need to cook or I want to eat fruit, I don't have to do it. to give you 
a close up of the fruit the fruit and veggie storage containers. So right on or the produce and veggie. The produce and fruit storage containers. That's what it is. <clears throat> right on the container it tells you how to store them in here, whether it needs water or the air vents. So I love these and I really do think it works. Now my kids never allow fruit to last that long in our fridge anyway, but I don't really have problems with them going bad in here as it does in the original packaging. This set was from Costco and it'll tell you if it needs water ventilation or neither. And this set was from Aldi and it tells you the same thing, whether it needs water or ventilation or neither. So every so often Aldi and Costco will put them out. I don't know if it's out as of right now, but you can check the website at Costco and see, and you'll just have to check your local Aldi. But they do have something similar on um, Amazon. So I'll link that down below just in case you want to look at those. So on this day, I was really proud of myself because I got so much done. So I really hope you're finding this video motivating to get yourself started on all the tasks that you need to complete. And then dig deep to find your drive, whether it's having a clean space, a peaceful space, a clean home for your family. Look for your why and let that drive you to complete your tasks. So the kids' bathroom is the last room because I am tired. It is not terrible, but of course, you know, they like to decorate their mirrors. So we are gonna get it cleaned up real quick. The tub is dirty. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna sit down somewhere. My son pees all over the place. Pees everywhere. I'm sure there's pee behind the toilet seat, of course, because he's, um peeing standing up and there's pee on the floor there so yeah last place to clean and I'm satisfied with everything we got done on this to-do list today sort out the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that and still I'm caught by surprise I thought you'd always be mine I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know so I know I said the last thing I wanted to clean was the kids' bathroom, but I forgot that I wanted to clean out everybody's humidifier because the kids wake up stuffy every morning. So, and even me, I kind of wake up with a sore throat in the morning. So I'm gonna clean out the humidifiers because they need it. I am just using some cleaning vinegar to clean them out. I'm going to pour some hot water and some vinegar in them and just kind of let them sit for like an hour. Then I'll kind of scrub them with the brush and rinse them out really good. I use either cleaning vinegar to clean them out or I'll use like a cap full of bleach and some hot water, but I'm just gonna use the vinegar since I have this. I get this from Dollar Tree. 
And I think the only difference is the clean and vin vinegar is more acidic, so you don't want to use this on your, this is not ingestible, so, or well, they don't recommend it rather. So this is what I'm going to use to clean out the humidifiers. I'm having a brain fart, guys. So here are the results of all the spaces that I tackled today. We also got groceries ordered, we got veggies prepped. I also cooked dinner but I didn't show it in this video because I am going to do a what's for dinner video that way you guys can have recipes and I'll make it easier to follow along if you want to try them but I was so satisfied and this is what drives me guys, the end results. My family gets to enjoy a clean home, I get to enjoy my clean home, and now we get to relax. I really appreciate you guys watching the, my videos and supporting me, and of course if you made it to the end, you guys are the real MVPs. And if you're new here and you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.